Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are in the basement and in today's video, we are installing this sink permanently. Yes, we are going to be permanently installing the sink. We are also gonna be hooking up the water, which is the first thing we're gonna do. And most importantly, we are going to be making the holes for, for both the faucet and the soap dispenser. The soap dispenser is a remote soap dispenser. So the soap, which is this soap, is not directly connected to this. There is a hose that goes inside while it's sitting in the bottom of the cabinet. We also have a run of the mill standard faucet. Uh, we are going to have to make the hose. This is an inch and three eighths hole. So half of an inch and three eighths is 11 sixteenths. We already set this tool. I forgot what this tool is called. I, for, I completely forgot and I'm not gonna Google it right now. <laughs> but this is 11 sixteenths. We set this 11 16, which is a half of 11 and three eighths. And we're gonna find the middle by using the tool like that, you know. And this is a half, one inch and half of one inch is half of an inch. And we're gonna find the middle here. Once we find the middle, we are going to drill the holes. We're gonna remove this and drill the holes. This one is an inch and three eighths, so we're gonna do it an uh, inch and a half. This one's one inch, so we're gonna do an inch and a quarter, just to have a little bit of play. So yeah, but the first thing we're gonna work on is installing the water supply. And I'll tell you why these are more important than everything else as soon as we make those holes and get this out of the way. We got these beautiful pipes in 
they are looking great and clean. But before we even go on in installing the sink, putting the faucet and the soap dispenser, let's turn on this water and make sure there's no leaks. That's one. Where's the next one? There you go. We're good. I don't hear anything. We're good. So yeah, these are installed. Um, I don't like the conventional ones that you get from Home Depot. The one that take about 20 turns to turn off and on. This is a quarter turn. I got them from Amazon. Always, the link is in the description for everything I use. But uh, yeah, I also like the chrome look to make everything look clean. My drain is also gonna be chrome, as you can see. I want everything down here to be chrome. So, yeah. Now that nothing down here is leaking. Oh, I just saw a leak. Look where it's leaking from right there. I'll fix that off camera. But yeah, uh, the next step now, after I fix that, is dropping in the sink with glue on it. And we're going to be using this glue right here well, silicone. And the reason why I installed the water first is because I am going to put silicone around the sink and then hooking up the faucet and then putting in the drain so that the drain, not the whole drain pipe, just a drain that goes on the top so that I could cap it with this right here to hold the water. So I want to fill this up all the way so that with the weight of the water is going to be pushing down and keeping the silicone, you know, as thin as possible. So yeah. So let me uh, fix this problem right there. And in the next scene, you will see me putting the silicone and installing the sink. The sink is in and I had a mini panic attack because on this side as you guys saw the caulk well silicone came out and it came out a lot as you can see here I'll just clean that up just rubbing it off like that comes off but and I think that acetone takes this off so I have some acetone I'm gonna get it and clean that all up I damn I smudged them over here also and I think I'm making it worse <laughs> but yeah this is in uh, inch and what was this? An inch and a half worked perfectly in here and a inch and a quarter worked here perfectly too. So this stuff lined up perfectly. That trick that I did with the, I think it's a protractor. I forgot what that tool is called, but I'll leave it in the bottom left corner. <laughs> so this is permanently in. So yeah, so let's start installing the sink and the soap dispenser.
allow me to show you the problem that I just confronted. From here to here is two is an inch and three quarters. This wood is an inch and three quarters. So we are not able to grab threads with this to hold it in place. So now this is glued in place. I can't remove this. I don't want to remove it. I'll make a big mess. So I'm going to have to figure something out, which I'm thinking about installing this backwards. So instead of installing it, how we, sorry, the camera has died. So it usually goes with this, this nut part facing down. I'm going to try to put it backwards so that when it screws on, this part will be inside the wood. We'll grab a couple of threads and then these two screws that are here, one and two, that is what will be holding it in place. So let's see if that works. All right, so let's see. And it works. So it goes on. Now we have to see if we have the space within the hole in the bottom to make this part fit. Worst case scenario, I could grab a grinder and cut off the corners. But uh, yeah, gonna have to make this work somehow. Gonna have to cut these edges off with a grinder. Let's see if that works. Got it. We officially have a sink, a faucet, and a soap dispenser fully installed. Well, besides the drain. We didn't get the drain installed because I didn't have any time and I want to get this video out to you guys. But I also was thinking about using the plumber's putty to get it installed. But the plumber putty that I had was expired. But then I realized in the box where the drain came in, it came with this foam. I've never used this foam thing. So I'm, I'm going to use it now in the... Uh, in the next video, we're gonna be installing this. But it will be the first time that I install a drain like this without plumber's putty and I use this foam thing. So it's gonna be something new for me. But we have that and we have the ring to tighten it. So the next video we'll be doing that. But for now, let's finish this up. So we have the soap dispenser in and we have the faucet in. The sink went in perfectly. There is a little bit of extra silicone out here. I put way too much. Like you can see over here, I'll just grab a blade later on and take that off. But everything went in smooth. Now down here, we had a bit of problems. So as you guys can see here, I had to redo this over here. Um, this was the third, the third time I did this. And after the white Teflon was not working, I decided to just go and use pink. I wanted to use white because it looks cleaner. As you can see up here, you know, the white there. 
it looks cleaner but whatever i want that to stop leaking so that's what i had to do <laughs> that's what i had to use so if you guys also look here this is red for hot water but this is cold water and then over here is hot water and it's a cold water line the reason why i did that is because this valve i guess is supposed to be on this side and i wanted to switch it on this side to have as much space over here where i could hang stuff on my wall control so i had to flip the hot water to the back because i want the cold water to be in the front so when i open it it could just be facing me instead of having it in the back so i switched everything down here because of that i didn't want to go to the back to the top to mess with that for reasons that you guys just finished seeing also off camera let me see if i can get the camera up in here if you guys look behind under the screw i got a piece of metal back there so that the screw is not digging into the wood it has a piece of metal between the wood and the screw so over time that wood underneath the screw won't give out the metal will protect it i did it on both sides so that's probably something you guys will want to do if you run into that same problem but other than that everything's looking really good down here and uh i haven't installed this yet which is the soap over here in this corner i'm putting it i haven't done it yet because i'm looking to get the shelf in here but first we have to put the drain and that's what we're going to be doing in the next video so stay tuned for that i'm really really liking how this is coming out and once we have this filled with tools and things that i use every single day it's gonna be amazing <laughs> so in the next video like i said we're going to be installing the drain on top and also the drain in the bottom i will get into this whole system in the next video and also explain why i have this here when there's obviously no dishwasher that goes down here i have an idea for that and but you will have to stay tuned for that this was a bit of a headache but we got it in we found a way to get it in there's always a way of doing things you just gotta calm down maybe step away from the job and think about how you're going to attack the problem that you are confronting so i'm happy you guys are here with me to this point of the video and if you learned something new, you could show me by giving me a like. Any comments or questions, leave it in the comments down below. And if you're interested in seeing the rest of this basement get done and this sink on and draining, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks.